Thank you for your interest in Kapow software. This demonstration will show how Kapow can migrate all places and content types from Jive to any other platform. Kapow's Visual Design Studio allows us to extract the content and places directly from Jive's web front end. We can also call Jive's API directly in Kapow's Visual Design Studio, get back the JSON responses, and map them into our target data structures. Whether we're going to the web front end or calling the API and getting back a JSON response, we're mapping from Jive to an intermediate database which is based on our target structure, whatever that may be. If we're loading to SharePoint, we'll construct our content types based on the attribute fields that belong to those target content types in SharePoint. This is the Kapow Design Studio. The main window is the browser that allows us to load HTML, XML, PDF, CSV, and other document types. Currently, we have Jive's web front end loaded, and I'm going to enter my credentials, my username. When I enter each credential, my password here, it gets saved as a step up above. So I've entered my username, my password. Now I click the login. That's also saved as a step up above. Moving into the website, I'm clicking into the content, and within content, there are the different types of assets here that I want to extract from Jive. Firstly, the blogs, and then the discussions, and then all of the documents. So I'm clicking into blogs first, and you can see these are each branches within the process that I'm developing. So once the first branch is complete, the next branch will be taken, and so on. Here we're going to extract the blogs. We're using a loop step where I've selected one loop item on the page, right click, create a loop, that creates the loop step, and then you can see it's discovering each of the assets on the page. In this case, they're the different blogs. So for the first blog, we're extracting the title, and to extract something from the web page, we just right click, select extract, extracting this as text, and then where do we want that to be saved to? We'll save it to our blog.title. Over here to the bottom right, you can see we've created a blog data structure that has all of the attribute fields of interest, title, description, blog author, and each comment, comment author, and date. So I can create a data structure in Kapow very easily. Just hit the plus sign here, give the data structure a name, add all the attribute fields, and then create a database table in whatever database that you're connected to. Now, once I've done that, I can save my data from the web page, what it looks like on the site, into the data structure that we'll be then using to load to our target system. So moving forward, we're now extracting the description, the blog author, and you can see as I pass by each of these steps, they're being populated down here to the bottom right. So we're moving through and extracting the fields from the screen. Now we're clicking into the actual blog so we can get to the comments that are within this blog. So we've got a nested loop here, and this is going to go to each comment within this blog. I can move up or down the DOM structure of the HTML until I have the area selected that I want to iterate over. And I'm going to, again, create a loop step for each of these tags. That creates the loop up above. Step through one comment at a time and extract the author, the date, the comment itself, the iteration, so we can rebuild these in order in our new system. And then we're saving this to our intermediate database here. I'm using MySQL today. You can use any database that you want to use with Kapow. So this will go through for each blog and each comment within each blog. When it's complete, the next branch will be taken. So we're clicking into discussion and we're going to each of the discussions. The same idea, we've created a loop step that identifies each discussion on the page and we're clicking in and getting the title, the description, the author. These values are being saved into the discussion variables. And now we're clicking in to get any additional comments or attachments with each of these discussions. And in this case, there is an attachment, and we're extracting that target, and we're saving this. In this case, you can see here my extract target settings. We're saving it to a file located here. I could have alternatively saved this to a variable. So we pass by this step that extracts the file. We're getting the iteration number, and now we're clicking into the discussion and getting each of the additional comments from the discussion, we're getting the comment author, the date, comment itself, and then saving that to the database. So here is our first comment with all of the information. And again, this is going to loop through, get all comments for this discussion, and then to the outer loop and get all other discussions. Once that's complete, we'll go back out to the top level page here and click into the documents. And we're iterating over all of the documents that are here and extracting each of them. So here we have 
an Excel file, a JPEG, a PDF, some more PDFs, and so on. So each of these will be extracted and saved with the same kind of setting we're saving to a file in this location. So when this robot completes, we'll have all of our blogs, all of our discussions, each saved to a database, and then we'll have all of our files from Jive saved to the hard drive. So let's go ahead and switch from design mode to debug mode, and we can run the process and watch as it collects all of the content from the Jive site and saves it to our intermediate database. Kapow also generates an object key for each record in the database, along with extraction time and date stamps. These allow Kapow to dedupe content that's extracted from the site and determine deltas, content that has been added to the site since the last time that the process was run. In addition to extracting directly from Jive's web front end, Kapow can also call the Jive REST web services inside of Kapow's Visual Design Studio. Here we're calling the Git Groups API call. We're getting back a JSON response. Next, the response values are mapped into the target attribute fields with Kapow's data mapper. Notice all of the nested values that the JSON v3 response provides, so we have easier relationship lookups available. Kapow can handle even the most complex, transformation-heavy migration projects, all with no coding. And Kapow's migration solution scales linearly, so it can handle even the biggest document migration projects. Contact Kapow Sales to schedule a demonstration for your document migration source and target environment.